Oh my god, oh my god, wait, there's another Jurassic World game, and it was announced the other day? Ooh, oh my god, I can't wait to see what this one looks like. Aftermath, we've been waiting, what could it be? Let's have a look, shall we? No. 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 We were so close. Hello everybody and welcome to a reaction video of Jurassic World Aftermath. This is the latest game coming out that we know of uh, for the Jurassic World franchise. Now of course, Jurassic World Dominion is close. It is less than a year away, it comes out in June or July 2021, and with it we are expecting to see um, the unknown title from Frontier that was leaked ages ago, which we expect to be like Jurassic World Evolution 2. Um, there's also, there was like that first person uh, game, uh, I don't know what Jurassic World Survivor it was called, which had Chris Pat running about and it had a T-Rex and had stegos and raptors and all this animation. Uh, so. Well, and then not too long ago, leaked was an image, or somebody got an image of the new Oculus, and on it, it had Jurassic World Aftermath. Now, whether or not this was, um, because the trailer for Jurassic World Aftermath is out now. Um, it was to do with uh, a showcase for Facebook and the, the whole new VR thing or something like that. Either way, we're here for Jurassic World. And it just so happened that in that showcase, at the very end, they did showcase uh, a new game for VR. Now, it was a lot of speculation that we didn't know whether or not it was just going to be for VR. But this game, yeah, it, it looks like it's only for VR. Uh, it's not the first time that Jurassic World has done this. We've had... Um, Blue, if you remember that, and even before that, we had like the Apatosaurus encounter. All on the channel! Go find them up there somewhere! Yay! We had Blue, which was just a little short interactive. It was a lot of budget put into it. Um, and it was, it was nice, nice little uh, experience to sort of, you know, building you hype for Fallen Kingdom. It's like just before the events of Fallen Kingdom, before the movie came out, we're like, ooh, what's going on the island? And Blue allowed us to see that. Now this, the, I have already seen this trailer, but I will react to it again because I can't remember all of it. And we'll break it down as well, as well as something else I want to have a look at. Um, the, uh, you'll see what I mean. Go! Oh, lovely coating. Captured on PC, actual gameplay may vary. Oh, okay. So it's from Facebook. I guess because Oculus is owned by Facebook. That's cool. I like that. Such a meme, man. Stop doing the raptor thing, claw. God damn it. <laughs> and that's it, I think. Yeah, Jurassic World Aftermath. Is there gonna be more? There might be more. Hold on. Coming soon. So we don't have any date for it just yet. We're gonna jump at the end? Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay, so there it is. This is the new Oculus Quest 2. Why I did the intro the way I did is... Let, let's have a look at it. Let, let's have a look at it, right? Now, let me play this through with a different soundtrack. Look any different? Yep. <sighs> they could have done it. They could have done it. It's so close. Especially this bit, actually. I will turn the volume up for this. This. I love, that bit is beautiful. I love the buildup of this. I don't know, it's like a part of the Jurassic Orchestra, but then they've stretched it and it sounds, ooh, it sounds a bit spooky and scary and it builds up and then you get this pterosaur reveal of those dinosaurs here on this island. So, right, first things first, straight away, this thing, Dino Crisis. Freaking Dino Crisis. Oh, oh man, it really just makes me, it, it, it's everything that Dino Crisis is. It's an abandoned facility or abandoned park. Dinosaurs are running amok. It's at night, you have to hide from raptors. Oh, it's Dino Crisis. Why have we got like, the, the thing with this trailer is, it doesn't make me want to play this. It makes me really want a Dino Crisis remake now. I don't care about this. <laughs> like, 
I, the concept is great because it is a bit like um, Dino Crisis. And survival horror is what we've wanted. But, oh my god, I just want a Dino Crisis remake. It's so close. It's so freaking close. The, the, the concept is good, but the art style... No. You know what? Not even Dino Crisis. Can we just have this in a realistic, Unreal Engine looking world? The thing that I'm thinking here is we have it Toon Shaded because it's easier? Like what does Toon Shade, what, what does Toon Shaded lend itself to? Okay, so you, it, why would you do this instead of realistic graphics, right? Because if it was realistic or, you know, more 3D, it would be scary. It would be terrifying. And that's what everybody wants, right? Kids would love it because they'd be like, have you heard that new Jurassic World game? It's terrifying. Kids always want, you know, what is kind of targeted adults. You know, when I was a kid, I remember playing Dino Crisis and being frightened out of my mind, but I loved it. It was like, oh, I should be playing this. Oh, but it's so good. <laughs> and this, I, like, I feel like they've done Toon Shaded because it's easier, maybe because it, I mean, can you use this on Facebook? So maybe it's like a processing kind of thing that they want it used on Facebook. Um, but I think the Toon Shaded is probably because it's easier. Maybe they're rushed. Um, I just, I don't see the benefit of adding it as a Toon Shaded game. This should be realistic. Oh, it's so close. You were, you were this close. Universal Facebook, Oculus, whatever, you were this close to giving us something that was amazing. And actually, this shot here, um, now, and not to say this game will be bad, I think it will be great. It's just, it could have been so much more. You had games like Jurassic Park for the SNES, right? And you had the first person, like, Doom shooter uh, looking thing. That was scary, but that was the best that they could kind of do at the time, was just this... But the, the music was there and everything. And no doubt, if I when I do play this, it will be scary. 100%. But if it was, you know, realistic graphics... And I'm not one to say that realistic graphics kind of, you know, you always need the best graphics make the best kind of game. You've got loads of games that look great, and they're not, you know, the this highest, you know, performance that we can do. But with this, it's asking for it. It's real, you know, you want to be, it's like Resident Evil kind of thing. You want to be there. You want to be like looking around because this, this will be all encompassing. Maybe it would have been too scary. That's it. I think Universal wanted to target the kids and they can't do that by making it super scary because it would probably get a rating or something like that. If it gets even a 12 rating for just, you know, scares, I think that's, that's part of the rating. It doesn't have to be blood. It doesn't have to be gore. It doesn't have to be like nudity or anything like that. I think it was just terror like i think that's what they class it as scary it can get a rating like that um so having it tune shaded is probably their way of saying well you know kids can play it this bit in particular that i paused on here for ages sorry uh this is death ground remember that game not too long ago um with the amazing raptor models <laughs> they put up a twitter post not too long ago with the raptor we're like hey what do you think of it and then everyone was like this raptor looks horrible so they deleted the twitter post <laughs> but i screenshot it because i remember we're clicking on it and going wait why can't i respond to any of this it's because they know they delete it no longer exists so i think they i'm hoping they're revamping that model um so this is very similar to that you you go inside this to hide away from the raptors now whether or not this is always part of it or alien isolation which and i'm probably sure there was games before that that did this kind of thing but it's very similar you have them going and then the raptor runs past we've got a different colored raptor here it looks like you've got a brown and yellow striped raptor Although that one there. So this is this is what you'll see with your hands. I'm assuming that you're sent there to recover something. I mean, why else would you be on the island? Either that or you're a robot or an AI or something like that. I'm not expecting lore from this at all. Anything like that of the sort, but my God, it could have been so close. It could have been so close. This bit in particular just captured the, the horror and the, with the strings and everything. But imagine that realistic graphics. You think it's a statue and then all of a sudden it just like, it moves and lets out this shriek. That would be terrifying. Thinking about that now, I've got goosebumps. Imagine you walk into this room and you don't, you know, there's loads of dinosaur statues, but they're all silhouetted against the moonlight. And you don't notice anything. So you're just walking around and then one of them springs to life like that. Oh, Oh my god, I've got it. I've got tingles, man. I've got tingles thinking about that. Yet this cartoon bloody Tyrannodon 
<laughs> ah! <laughs> it could have been so much more. And I'm not trying to, you know, I'm sure loads of love and effort went into it, but you missed the mark. Ah, we've been, there's, there's been always, every year, there's saying about, oh, this is it. This is the year. This is the year we're going to get Dino Crisis remake. Jurassic World. Universal, you had your shot. You could have you could have taken that whole audience from Capcom and went, you know what? We'll give it to you. We'll give you the horror game you deserve. For instance, but it is made in Unreal Engine. Um, by, I think it's just by either a group or it's just one dude. I love this. I saw this and I was like, it's a hoax. <laughs> I know it's a hoax. God, the, the graphics on that do not look very good. But I just, I just wanted to show you guys this. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's not, you know, it's just an independent. That's a helicopter. That's a helicopter. Now we're inside the helicopter. Am I on the highest graphics that we can have? Yeah. Okay. What's the situation over there? There, look at this. You're not gonna believe this. He was attacked by some kind of dinosaur. <laughs> Obviously, it's all the voice snippets yeah. from the original. But again, abandoned facility, which is like the abandoned park. Imagine what we just saw. What is this? And there's a dinosaur, although you can barely see it. But just to give you like a feel for what this could have been. It? Another lizard? That's no lizard. It's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. The <laughs> voice acting wasn't the best in this game, I will dinosaur. admit. <laughs> Look, something's really wrong with this place. This whole mission has gone south. And of course, you got like the tank controls and stuff. But imagine. The guards were shooting at something very recently. Flashed by pretty quick, but I'm sure I saw something. Rick, open the shutter. To that the little bit of the Dino Crisis team. Imagine this in first person. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't be aimed at kids. <laughs> it really wouldn't be. There it is. I love that. Oh. Imagine bumming into dinosaurs in this. I mean, maybe it would be too scary. Maybe that's why they did the tune shaded. Now that I'm, now that I'm watching, I'm like, I'm terrified. <laughs> Imagine this in first person. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, got to be kidding me. I love the T-Rex sound effects from Jurassic Park. And this scene terrified me. When the T-Rex burst through. Oh. Ah, it looks so good. It looks so good. I mean, that's just the Primal Carnage T-Rex. But you get what I mean, right? Like... With this, we could have had something incredibly similar, but like a dra in Jurassic World, imagine that. It would have been, I don't care if it's canon, like don't have Blue chasing you or something like that. Just have these raptors. It doesn't have to be canon, like I said. Just the fact that it's scary and it's set in the same universe, that's good enough for me. I'm not looking at like, oh, this T-Rex was released at this time. Oh. <laughs> I just want like a game. Like remember when games in for Jurassic Park was Alan Grant running around with a like, gun blowing up dinosaurs? That wasn't canon, was it? It was just a fun game. And why can't we just have more of this than rather, hmm, is this lore efficient? Is this is this right? I just want a nice fun game. Then th this, it looks like it will be fun, not as terrifying. It looks like you'll probably have a bit like Robinson, if you remember that game, where if you were attacked by the raptor the, or, or you were to die, you were just like, oh, and you go to black and then you'd spawn back somewhere else. And I guess that's probably the closest comparison we could make to it, but it does appear to be a full game. Um, there's nothing else, like, and then the toe tap. The toe tap's so overplayed. It's such a meme now. It's <laughs> and the fact that Jurassic World is still doing it. I like it. It's a nod to the original, but it's it's overplayed. It's a bit like Rexy roaring. It's like it sort of sucks you out of it. 
It was just a little thing. Steven Spielberg was like, oh yeah, let's try that. that or maybe he didn't even come up with the idea, but you know, Jurassic Park came up with it like it's thinking. And now it's like, hey, remember that from the movie? Oh, I remember. Stop fan servicing. <laughs> Uh, but I guess that's what these these fran you know Jurassic World franchise and all this live off is you know the nostalgia and the fan service kind of. But anyway, guys, just a short little video today, uh, just showcasing you this and what the potential I think could have been could have been so much more. Ah, but maybe we'll still get one. I don't think this is going to be the only title. Tomorrow, I think it is, when the Netflix series for Camp Cretaceous will come out. They also went on record saying that this won't be the only season of Camp Cretaceous until Fallen Kingdom drops. Oh, sorry, not Fallen Kingdom. Dominion, the last movie drops. We're probably going to get another series of Camp Cretaceous. So I'm sure Frontier's game will be great. I hope that it's... If it is Jurassic World Evolution 2, they could do a lot more. They can definitely do a lot more to make that game really good. But it's just like, if they do Jurassic World Evolution 2, what's going to happen to Jurassic World Evolution, right? It's going to die. Because if it's Evolution 2, it's just going to be the same thing, but better, right? So no one's going to play Jurassic World Evolution. I'd love it if they just made that first person, you know, or third person Chris Pratt game running around or just, just did something different like this is, you know, like a horror kind of game. That would be really cool. If they do make Jurassic World Evolution 2, I'd be happy with it, but I want to see just a just a spread out of the uh the jurassic gaming franchise like it used to be we had all these different types of games and a wide spectrum of stuff now it's like park builders that's it but and vr experiences apparently but anyway guys if you enjoyed this video leave a like and until next time leave in the comments tell me what your thoughts are of this do you think it would have been better more horror horror uh like realistic graphics horror elements in it or have they made the right decision by going down a two-chaired route? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I think it'll still be good, but I just think, ah, oh, it could have been so much more. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.